Um, Michael, we support a couple of uh, open source systems. One is Open EMR, of course. Open EMR is the most widely used um, EMR system across states and a couple of neighboring countries. Then we also support Open MRS and Bomni, but primarily we only support Open EMR, Michael. So I'll show you a couple of uh, demo solutions. Um, so yeah, I think we can just jump into the demo. So uh, welcome everyone uh, to the live stream, the webinar, why open source EMR system is the preferred choice. So I will go, I have prepared a small presentation uh, to all of you. Once I have completed the presentations, I will be taking questions uh, from everyone. Hi Cyril, nice to meet you guys. Uh, it's PHP based, Michael. So uh, yeah, let me just uh, walk you through uh, some of the solutions, Michael. Then you can, uh, I'll, I'll uh, address all your queries. Thank you. So this is a small presentation uh, I have prepared for this uh, webinar. Uh, quick introduction. I am the senior accounts manager or business manager for CapMines. I overview the project implementations, project coordinations. I used to be a developer, so I used to work with open source technology and I know in hand how everything is structured and how the architecture is structured. Now I have moved into a more managerial role. So in the presentation, uh, we will have four key points. One would be a small introduction to open source EMR systems and then what are the benefits and there are potential drawbacks and a couple of case studies from our personal experience after implementation of open EMR. So without further ado, let's jump into the introduction uh, to open EMR systems. So open source EMR systems as you are aware, any open source system for a fact is a source where the source code is freely available for use, modification or distribution uh, by anyone. So it's not a proprietary system, it's essentially a community of developers who work on a system and they agree upon something and they deliver something and then it's up to the vendors or it's up to the uh, uh, end user to customize it or to use it. So now moving on to uh, which country have used open EMR systems before or which countries are using EMR systems. So just to give you a scale of how popular EMR systems are. So as you know, after Obamacare in the US, there is a huge push and benefits for digitalization. So after 2008, there has been a steady increase of EMR systems. And now it's almost, I would say it's the number here is 93%, but I would say it's more 95, 96. I would say there are only a couple of remote areas where the um, you know where there is not a lot of connectivity where the emr system is not used and the traditional systems might be used but everywhere else i believe it's a um, digital uh, system that they use then in other popular countries where you can see a wide usage of emr system is spain germany france so all the developed countries um, and they and the developing countries are also adopting emr systems now moving forward to history of open source EMR systems. I don't think we have to go through the entire um, history, but this is just a background of when each open source uh, system was introduced. So open EMR was introduced in 2002, but the main development and everything was pushed after 2008. And fun fact, uh, CapMines, the, the organization I'm representing, we were one of the pioneers of open EMR so our CEO was one of the initial five developers who started working on the open EMR system then open MRS it was started in 2004 after a little bit of a success of open EMR and it has a couple of features which are um, you know better than open EMR which I will walk you through in a short while then we have the key benefits of open source EMR systems so the first uh, benefit I would walk you through and the most important one which we also get from a lot of our clients is the customization and flexibility since the code is open source and um, we are one of the pioneers of open emr we can kind of customize it to build a solution which is uh, defined by the workflow of a provider or a hospital or 
any kind of a healthcare chain. So just to give you a background of a couple of uh, projects that we have done, we obviously we have implemented for um, small practices, mid-sized practices or large practices. And we have also developed customized open EMR solution for the federal government. So we have developed it for DOD, for HRSA, for HHS and other agencies as well. So essentially we can customize open EMR module by module to fit any kind of a need that anyone has. So we have built solution for billing companies to build a um, customized billing manager. We have built solutions for um, you know research companies to research their data, analyze and um, give insights onto what it looks like. The another benefit that most of our users feel is the cost effectiveness. So essentially when you are going with a um, standard cloud-based EHR system, they will have a yearly contract with you or a two-year contract with you and if you don't renew it, that's all, all of your patient data and everything is gone. With open EMR, it's essentially you own the solution. Once we customize anything, the end client becomes a proprietary owner of that solution. And in certain cases, what we have seen is that once the client becomes a proprietary owner, they also want to resell it. So there is a monetary benefit attached to it. So I'll give you an example of a popular um, behavioral health chain in Maryland. What they did was essentially they had 11 locations. Once we built a behavioral health solution for them, a custom EHR solution for them, then they used the source code to kind of uh, give it as a cloud-based solution. So, and now they have about uh, 2,000 to 2,500 users using that platform. So this is, these are just some of the benefits of using a open EMR solution. Now, another key benefit is interoperability, or I would say integration in general. Open EMR, some of you might be aware of, has open APIs. So it allows it to connect to any kind of a third party system using its endpoints. And it also has its own HL7 uh, server after Open EMR 7.0.0. So you can kind of uh, push and pull any kind of an information uh, as per the HIPAA compliance through and from uh, Open EMR. Then there is a security and transparency since the code is open source. You can view where the uh, security lags are and you can implement it, you can strengthen it. And every solution that CapMinds develops and uh, you know deploys, we strengthen those security measures and we deliver those as well. Then transparency I already uh, spoke about. Then we have community support and collaboration. Obviously OpenEMR has a very vibrant community. I'm unaware of OpenMRS and Bamli, but OpenEMR has a vibrant community. Any question that you might have, you can just talk directly to your vendor or you can just go ahead and you can type in a question and you can view the answers right away there. Then there is a scalability and growth potential. So one of the interesting things that we see with a lot of our deployments is that someone who starts with a single location after two years, three years, because of the cost effectiveness and everything, they quickly jump to a second solution. So whenever a open EMR solution is deployed, it has obviously it has yearly updates, but when you customize it and you build something that is defined for your workflow, you don't spend a lot of time on the software end of things and you can focus more on patient care. So moving forward, we have potential drawbacks. Obviously, everything that has pros has cons. So what would be the cons of deploying open source EMR systems? One, I would say is that an implementation challenge is sometimes if you don't have the right vendor or if you don't have the right vision in mind, what happens is there are a lot of conflicting overviews. So when you might say something to the vendor and then with the flexibility, they develop something and you might not be satisfied with that. So that's the most common um, challenge that we face uh, with open EMR. Then there is support and maintenance, obviously with a lot of open source systems they don't the vendors are not very uh, you know not corporate or they don't have proper methodologies for support and maintenance obviously uh, with open emr organizations like us cap minds we have proper support and maintenance systems and we make sure that all of our clients get the right support then we have 
UI and clinical decision support. Obviously, since it's an open source uh, system, the UI is not very modern or you can say not uh, comparable to cloud-based EHR systems and then it doesn't have a good CDS as well. But again, that, that is a problem that can be solved easily with uh, customizations. Now moving forward, there are a couple of case studies. Uh, I think before jumping into the case studies, I would like to show you guys a couple of live solutions that I have logged in. Uh, all of the solutions that I'm going to show on my screen and the customizations I'm going to show on my screen are based off OpenEMR. So this is just to give you a general idea of what kind of uh, flexibility and customization you can do with uh, OpenEMR. So the first solution I would like to show you is a pretty simple one. This is, uh, if you have played around with OpenEMR before, this is essentially how the UI looks. This is where the logo is. These are all the general modules. Here you will see a couple of additional modules. Those are customizations that we have added on our end uh, through our experience working with, a, with different clients and different needs. So I want to show you the level of flexibility for the OpenEMR system. The first thing you will notice are these three theme symbols. So with the interoperability capabilities, we have connected this to a telemedicine module. So you can take telemedicine appointments directly from the you know, EMR system. So this is connected with the third party vendor. We have connected it in our experience with Twilio, in our experience with Zoom, Google Meet and all of the major um, telemedicine vendors. Then we have mailing capabilities directly from the system so if you want to mail a patient or if you want to mail or even message if you want to do it you can do it directly from the system then you can also make calls from everything so this is essentially we have built it as a comprehensive all-in-one solution for a clinic so you can just do all the patient care directly from the system you don't have to switch to another vendor or anything like that all of this in a single place then a couple of other customizations apart from the usual open emr what you would see here is that we have built a custom dashboard uh, for one of our providers and we have built it also into the demo solution so here you can view your encounters for the day your completed encounters incomplete encounters pending documents or average encounter time so this is a entirely customized uh, module where you can view all of your necessary data for this particular um, for this particular uh, day or month then another thing you would notice is that we have built a task manager this was also built for one of our clients here you can assign a task to anyone in your clinic and you, you can view the status of that task and you can archive the task and you can send reminders all of that good stuff now without further ado let me walk you through the biggest uh, customization request that we uh, feel and we feel that OpenEMR just sets itself apart so as you know with different specialties a lot of providers have their own preferred encounter forms and they're not able to find it in the cloud based EHR systems as they would have definitive forms or fixed forms so what OpenEMR does is it gives you an ability to customize any kind of an encounter form so let me walk you through some of the customized form here we have done here you will see that all of these forms have been added for different specialties it's your daily nursing note detox discharge summary all of those you can view it directly from here then here there are a couple of layout based forms which we have added then uh, you can add x y all of these forms are customized through our uh, experiences now let me walk you through one of the customized forms here so let's see let's do the um let's see let's go to a individual notes or let's do an initial psychiatric evaluation so this has been customized entirely into the open emr system this is how we received the requirement we had a discovery with the client and they let us know that hey this is how i do my initial psychiatric evaluation and we customized it for their particular usage so this is how they preferred it and we added it here itself so here you can see it's a comprehensive form and no other cloud-based ehr will allow you to do that 
so this is the most uh, this is where we receive the most customization requests and this is where we um, develop the uh, develop most of our solutions so just wanted to walk you through uh, one of the forms apart from this this has all the general capabilities of an EMR system and uh, if it's not there you know we can just go ahead and we can customize it now this is one uh, spectrum of open EMR and what it get what its capabilities are on a lower end on a larger end you can build a system like this so let me just log in here this is a cloud-based uh, EHR system that is using open EMR in the backend and this has been built entirely for a client and you can build something like this if you want to resell it or if you want to use it internally so you can so here what we have done essentially is we have upgraded the entire UI of open EMR and we have built this system uh, to uh, of, you know to support the client so you can build something like this something very beautiful uh, like this here you will see all of these menus are customized and added on uh, from our end so this is another spectrum of things I'll not walk you through this solution but I just wanted to give you an understanding of what our capabilities look like um, so yeah this is just the demo part of things I wanted to show you and let's get back to the presentation then I'll take questions now this is the case studies and success stories I was talking about then case study one open EMR success story in Kenya this is a widely open MRS sorry uh, success story in Kenya this is a widely available case study and that's where open MRS the name kind of became popular so the challenge they were facing was that they were dealing with fragmented patient data, high volumes of patients and challenges in tracking patient treatment, especially for chronic diseases like HIV. Now the facility then adopted OpenMRS and then it, they designed it so that they can consolidate everything. They can track specifically flag the chronic conditions and streamline the reporting of their um, data. Now moving forward. We have the case study two, uh, which is the open EMR success story in USA. As I mentioned earlier, open EMR is the most widely used solution, most widely used open source EMR solution, and now becoming one of the most popular EMRs itself in US. So there is a community health center in rural Kentucky. The health center was struggling with high patient volume and patient data compliance, accurate records and everything. Then the health center implemented open EMR and they uh, tailored it everything for record keeping, regulatory compliance, patient care coordination and everything. If you would like, you can share your email addresses and I will personally mail you the case studies that we have at uh, CapMinds. Obviously, I cannot share the client information here but i will i would love to personally share those with you guys now i will be opening myself up to questions um so yeah yeah hi uh michael and everyone uh, who has you know uh, taken the time for the presentation i would love to answer all of your queries for the next uh, five minutes or so If you guys can hear me, please send a hi or a message. Saruna Anand Cyril, can you guys hear me?
you can hear me right sir sorry sorry um i don't see any questions so far guys so we will, we will end the demo in one or two minutes michael or anyone from the team if you guys have any questions please uh, comment so i can answer you guys Okay, no questions, so we will I don't see any comments here. No, I'm not able to scroll down. I think there is some issue on uh, I can't hear. Maybe I'll reload it. Okay, I'll view it in the other device. Um, has there been any third party testing of the hardness of the product? It's nice. What type of penetration testing probing has been done? What security features have been incorporated against hackers to prevent um, data breaches? So essentially, uh, Michael, we have tested open EMR for uh, a couple of different um, you know a couple of different testing agencies one of the most major ones as you know is to get a solution into the federal government there is a body called FedRAMP so essentially what they